What's up everybody? Got some things to talk about today. Some unfortunate stuff, some eye-opening stuff. But in the end, I hope it's all good stuff. So I'm sure everyone, unless you've been living under a rock lately, has seen what is going on with the president and everything else with the assassination attempt and stuff like that. First of all, I just want to touch on that um, it's all completely unfortunate and I'll stay out of a lot of the politics on it, but uh, I just think that anybody condoning violence is way outside of their uh, proper mental state. So do with that what you will, but I'm glad that um, it wasn't worse than it was and there was just one life lost. Unfortunate, it was a great life to many people, um, but I'm glad it wasn't more. But with that being said, and kind of touching base on where we're at in society and why I'm actually talking about this, is that um, I feel like society as itself is kind of gotten soft. No other way of saying it. I think we're all super offended super easily by everything and um, for the first time I'd say in my life I'm encountering it on the uh, opposite side in the sense that I used to just ignore everyone and everything that was offended by everything. If I saw something I didn't like I just ignored it, moved on, went on to something else and um, let everybody else that was super touchy about things get beat up by the uh, nonsensicals. But unfortunately, now that I'm uh, owner of a small business and have a platform, I am uh, susceptible to these grievances and complaints. So what is happening right now is that um, my channel, name of my channel, is uh, greatly offending numerous people uh, simply from its name. And so I have tried to ignore this and tried to continue on with what I wanted and how I wanted this channel to be, but it seems that I can't ignore it anymore in the sense that as I'm trying to push out my merchandise and trying to push out uh, the things that I would like to sell or advertise, they're kind of repeatedly getting denied uh, for community policy guideline violations and stuff like that. I am not a violent person. Violence is just something I'm trained for. It is not in my nature to go out of my way to be violent uh, verbally, physically, mentally, any of that. So I thought in my own naive sense that just calling myself an idiot and proclaiming that I'm a veteran wouldn't offend the masses, but apparently it does. And uh, so fortunately it's brought us to this point where I have to consider things. I have to consider either dropping everything completely and just giving up or rebranding. And so now that I can't sell the things that I wanna sell, where I wanna sell them, and put the things that I would like to put on them, it's kind of defeating to have to consider that. And so, what I've decided to do is I've decided to just take it on the chin this time and uh, move on, continue to do what I like and love and just abide by certain circumstances or certain community guidelines. And in this sense, I'm rebranding the name of the channel and the name of the merchandise. It's not something I wanted to do. It's not something I ever envisioned that I would have to do. And I never even envisioned that people would be um, so easily offended by something they're not even taking the appropriate context in. No matter how many times you explain it, didn't change their state of mind, just offended. And that's where I think society as a whole now is flawed in their super super soft skin flipping over showing their belly and uh, well that's enough of that
But anyways, it does upset me and it, it is what it is in that sense, but I'm gonna keep driving on. I'm gonna keep showing the channel. I'm gonna keep putting the things that I want on the channel. However, I need to just change the title of it so I can carry on and do what I uh, would like to do and enjoy doing and giving you guys the stuff that you enjoy. I know that this isn't gonna make uh, a lot of you very happy that I'm bending over and taking this, but in the long run, I'm still able to proclaim uh, my status as a veteran and I'm still able to title what I'm doing on this show. And so from here on out, this channel um, coming soon and merchandise and everything else will be known as Veteran Revivals. And I'm happy with that name. I'm happy for the, with the chance to continue moving on, continuing doing this stuff. So I'm not, I'm not completely down about it outside of uh, it loses a lot of the point of the channel with the, me doing stupid things and being the idiot. But I will always be the veteran idiot. They can't change that context. They can't take that away. And I'm proud to be that veteran idiot. And I'm sure some of you veterans out there are proud to be the idiots that you are as well. I am not calling everyone an idiot. So we can just take that off the table right now. I have a huge amount of respect for people in general. I tend to avoid them sometimes just because I don't like drama. But I have a huge respect for people in general and their opinions. I don't take everything to heart. I take what they say with a grain of salt. And if I don't like what they're saying or enjoy the conversation that I'm having, I bid them good day and I go on about my business just like everyone else should do. However, like I said, when you're running a business, it's hard to do that uh, and still be profitable when you're shadow banned on multiple different platforms. Um, just because of the name of your show shows up in the title and some algorithm decides that that is not appropriate for somebody else's eyes to see. And then it's even worse when there are people commenting down below uh, on your pictures and videos um, offended and reporting what you're doing as hate speech. But anyways, we're going to be on that now and we're veteran revivals. And I am your idiot, just for you guys. I feel really bad for everyone who purchased merchandise up to this point, but at the same time, I think you guys are the real MVPs because you have the merchandise that states my true intent. The OG veteran idiot, this is what it was meant to be, this is what I started. And so you guys, I see those shirts out, in the public, you might just get a hug and a kiss on the cheek because I love you guys for having purchased those items regardless of what some soft underbelly of society thinks may be offensive to them that doesn't even apply to them. But please don't be upset that you purchased those items and I'm rebranding because I absolutely love the fact that you purchased them and I want you to keep those and wear them with pride as I will do with the ones that I have because I'm not afraid of that on a personal level. But like I said, as a business, I just have to change some things and that's one of those things. So, veteran revivals. I will leave all the veteran idiot stuff up on the website, still at veteranidiot.com and it'll stay up there for about a week or so and then I'll start slowly sifting through and changing out the material, all the material will be the same, just changing the logos and some of the text on them. For instance, today I've got the United We Stay On Stands shirt. Let me give you a little preview of it. So this emblem will stay the same. It'll just say Veteran Revivals across the banner there. Zeus loves it too. But, and on, on the back, United We Stay On Stands because essentially it's the truth. At some point or another, every project you get stays on stands for a while and some longer than they should. So I thought that was hilarious and put that on a shirt. But all that stuff will stay the same. There's nothing gonna change with those items and most of the content that's on the website and merchandise will stay the same with some slight changes in just the name of 
the actual merchandise itself. So uh, in the coming month or so, we'll end up changing the website to uh, Veteran Revivals. I already have that domain. I just need to start pushing the tags in the shop on everything over to that domain. But it takes time. Um, so uh, like I said, you'll still be, if you want the merchandise, the OG original Veteran Idiot merchandise before I take it down forever, jump on, get what you want. Let me know if you have want anything else or uh, such, and then I'll get it for you and uh, push it out. But it will all be transitioning. That way I can push my platform to every e-commerce and store that exists in mankind and eventually take over the world. Thanks for your time uh, and listening to me complain about all this and finding resolution. Um, and those that stuck around, let's go ahead and start uh, Scrappy. It hasn't started in a while, and last time his battery was dead. I disconnected this time. The sun is fading off, and it's not blasting into the car, so it won't be seven and a half million degrees in here. All right, let's connect this battery back up. I need to get a uh, battery disconnect hooked up to this thing so we can hit the track. I know I keep promising that. One day, friends. One day. Oh, man. Oh, it is so hot in here. Holy crikey. All right, let's see if she goes over. Oh, yeah. That's a good girl. Oh. I wish I could tell you that that's camlope. That unfortunately just idle air confusion. And no matter what I do, it doesn't change. So it's gonna need a tuned computer or something along those lines. Maybe just a car. Keep hinting at that too, but whew. Anyways, there she goes. Now she's settling out. I need to do more stuff with this car. Get some more stuff for it, do something. Maybe once we get done settling all this uh, e-commerce stuff and the uh, merchandise and everything, we'll get some more stuff for this car and get it out on the road and on some trips. I'm trying to convince my cousin to take it on the Hot Rod Power Tour, but it's all about getting time off. The Hot Rod Power Tour is like a week, so that's hard. And it's during the week, Monday through Friday, so it's hard getting all that time off, but. We'll see, we'll see. This is a really fun car to drive, just not in the 7,000 degrees here in July in Phoenix. But thank you guys for listening to me complain about all that stuff and sticking with me. I hope that I don't offend anything, anybody with anything I've said today. Although, like I said, I have no problem saying that the, today's society is just far, far too soft need to just learn how to see something you don't like move on hear something you don't like move on because you're just getting offended by everything these days um, even stuff that's not even intentionally offensive uh, stuff that is self-proclaimed is offensive i'm going on a tangent we'll call it there thank you guys so much for everything that you do and the continued support uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out the merchandise before it's gone forever and changed over. Um, and as always, have fun. I'm going to go rip this thing around the block.